Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am door dashing tonight. I'm doing some delivery, so I'm letting you drive along with me for that. I think it'll be fun. At the moment, I'm headed to a Mexican restaurant to pick up my order, and then I'm gonna deliver, I think I have to take it to a hotel. Um, so I got my tunes going. Um, I have Sirius XM, and I just kinda just like, I'm kinda a surfer when it comes to the channels. Right now I got the 90s on because I uh, hammer time is on, so I it's fun. You know, there's some songs that you're just like, okay, I gotta listen to this one. That's what I got going on right now. It's kind of fun. So it's raining, which is not the best way to deliver because it's already dark. When it's dark and it's raining, it's kind of hard to see people's houses and their house numbers and figure out where I'm supposed to be. But we'll do the best we can. So I'm at my first restaurant stop and so I'm gonna pick that stuff up and I'll be right back. Bye. Okay, I picked it up, took a little bit of a wait, but it was fine, not that long. Um, hopefully the windshield wipers won't be too crazy loud. But I've been in the car before with um when the heat's really on and sometimes it makes the audio really bad and I don't want that to happen tonight. Raining is really good. Rainy days is really good for door dashing. Good money. I, mean, I already told you the problem. So I, I picked up from there. They're always really nice. Um, a lot of times when you have to wait and there's another person like that works there, they always ask information about DoorDash and um, does DoorDash pay well? It pays okay. Um, I feel like they could probably do better and I know that there's other businesses that pay better. One thing I do know that is, and in case you didn't know and you're watching this, DoorDash does um, give you less money the more tips that someone gives you on the app. So if you're really willing to tip somebody, I would do it in cash instead of on the app because DoorDash will, they'll give you a guarantee amount that they are wanting to give you, but the customer already tips that amount, they'll only pitch in a dollar towards your fee. But if you don't put anything on the app, then DoorDash pays the entire guaranteed amount and then you give them cash and then they're getting fair pay from DoorDash and also your tip. So I know people don't keep cash anymore. I know um, part of the app is having the flexibility to pay um, digitally, but just something to consider next time you order DoorDash. So I am headed to the Marriott. I have a friend that loves the Marriott and I, um, we are always talking about the Marriott's reward, so this is not sponsored, but if Marriott, you want to sponsor me, I can tell you some Marriott stuff. Do you ever tune in and realize that you love the song that's playing? You're like, yes, you start to sing along and you realize it's the last few bars of the song. You're like, oh, I just missed my jam. I hate it when that happens. I really do. That seems to happen to me way more than I want it to. All right, I'm gonna go bring this food into the Marriott and I will be back. Well, it's raining and traffic has gotten worse and I'm headed to a restaurant I've never been to before, which is fine. It's just, I'm not quite sure how to get there. But otherwise, it's going good. The drop off at the Marriott was fine. Um, they're okay, like it's always easy to drop off there, but there's that extra effort of having to go to people's rooms, which is fine, but when you're trying to like dash, you can't dash if you're hiking up five floors on an elevator, but it is what it is. Unfortunately, I live in an area where things are kind of sprawled out and not stacked on top. It's not a big metropolis, it's a suburban area. So things are sprawled out, so it takes longer to do each dash and this lighting is so weird on my face that blinking is the people in front of me with their turn signal also want to mention that it's 6 30 in the evening and it's dark i'm waiting for the days where we have a little bit more light 
but it's okay. But traffic right now is incredible. Um, it's very busy. I think it being... I didn't even know the day today. Today's Wednesday. Today is the second. So I think people are starting to slowly get back into work. And I think all this traffic is just the world trying to get back on track to what they were doing before. And so I've been sitting at this light for like five minutes. It's always so long. Like I'm still at the same light right by the hotel where I left um, that last drop off. And I'm still trying to get to the other restaurant. I think it's a Chinese restaurant, but it's not labeled Chinese, but I'm picking up an egg roll and bourbon chicken. So that kind of sounds like Chinese to me. I like picking up from Chinese places because they're always ready when I get there. Always. They're so nice about that. There's some places that I pick up from that I know when I get there I'm going to have to wait for my order and that's kind of a pain. But the Chinese restaurant, I don't think I've ever waited very long in a rest Chinese restaurant except for being in line. So there's that. middle school okay but it date myself here when I was in middle school I played this song on the piano for a talent show I remember it oh my gosh I'm feeling so old right now but yeah yes definitely a Chinese restaurant okay so I'm really sorry about the different directions where my screen is portrait and landscape I'm just trying to like figure out the best way for this vent clip to hold my phone and it seems to be better this way even though I don't prefer it. I like landscape better but I'm on my way to deliver this bourbon chicken and egg rolls in the rain with my loud windshield wipers I dropped that off waiting on another order um I'm in this like well the rain so much fun right now. Not sure if that helped. I'm in this like urban residential area when I dropped this off, which is a really cute area and there's a lot of nice people in this town. But these houses all look the same and in the rain, nothing lights up as far as house numbers or anything. So it really is a guessing game as to which house does this belong to. Luckily this guy, he, uh, he was at the door waiting on me, so that helped. Got another order. Hold on one sec. Okay, picking up at another Mexican restaurant in a few minutes. Um, I have noticed that a lot of DoorDash's deliveries are ethnic foods, um, which is cool. Um, it's a lot of do ethnic foods, and then there's fast food. I don't know. I, I've delivered fast food. I'm not sure if I would want it delivered. Even though we order it fresh in the restaurant when we get there, it's still, I don't know. I like my food hot, I guess. But the DoorDash bags are supposed to keep it hot. So, and people seem to be okay with it. So, they order, I've had, I have repeat customers. Not that they request me or anything. It's just, I just see a lot of the same people. So, I wonder how, how often they do order. So, but you're about to see some holiday lights because I'm going through downtown in my city. Um, kind of brightens up the dreary, rainy weather right now. Um, pretty lights. So I'm picking up at a Mexican restaurant, like I said, delivering, delivering not very far from there. So, let's see how that goes. Total 90s kid here. Oh, the rain's killing my hair. Do you have any songs that when 
it comes on the radio, you immediately turn it off or change the channel. There's a few that I have. Um, the main one, like, if a song has been overplayed recently because it's a new hit and everything, then I tend to change the channel on those. But then some, after a while, sometimes I come back to those and actually, um, I actually like them for what they are. But I can't stand it when they're overplayed on the radio. When Perfect came out, the end cheering song, it's a nice song and I love it. I can actually relate a lot to that song. And when it first came out, me and my boyfriend were like, this is so great, but apparently everybody else thought so too. And it was played on every station, I swear. I think if they could have found a way to put it on the 50s channel, they would have. But now I like the song because I don't have, I haven't heard it as often as I did. This place I just picked up from. I swear every time I go there, I have to wait for my food. It's kind of a pain. And I came from across town. It took me probably 10 minutes to get here. And it still wasn't ready when I got here. So I've been waiting. So I picked it up. Luckily the delivery location is not very far. So I'm on my way to do that. I like those people that have those reflectors by the mailbox that have the numbers. Those are perfect. Thank you very much for having those if you're one of those. But now I'm headed over there. And then we'll see where I pick up from next. Traffic has gotten a lot better. The rain is still wet unfortunately but the rain also makes business pick up so there's that and yesterday it was in the 60s here and today it was in the 60s earlier today so I was like you know what it's gonna be nice I'm gonna wear my new flip-flops yeah it didn't start raining until after I got out of the house and I was like, maybe I should have checked the weather a little bit better. I'm going the wrong way. I gotta make sure I'm going the right way. But, yeah, I should have checked. But at least it's not a cold rain. I mean, sometimes, especially in January, it is a cold rain. So this one's okay. It just the bottom of my pants, I'm short. So the bottom of my pants is getting wet. That's the story of my life, though. I'm 5'1", and I have short legs. It is what it is. Okay, that was delivered, and I'm sorry it's dark. But I want to say that this person was like, she's really nice, but she was like, <clears throat> I have something caught my throat. She was like, I'm sorry you have to deliver in the rain. It's like, you're not sorry. And she's really nice, but I think the better terminology and the better way to phrase it would be to say thank you for coming out in the rain. I used to work at Starbucks as a barista and people used to say that on holidays. Be like, I'm so sorry you are open on Thanksgiving. It's like, no, you're not sorry. You're here, you're ordering your coffee and it's fine because I'm making money. I chose to be here, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, they should be saying thank you for being open on blah, blah in the rain on Thanksgiving. Christmas in the middle of the night whatever still I mean she was nice and I'm not gonna harp on her too much but you know just a little bit of the wording is a little different that's all so I did a few more orders but I was getting tired and hungry so I'm at Arby's now thank you and I was gonna roast beef sandwich combo and my son was like, can you get me some loaded cheese fries and bring them home? And sure. And so, and this is a pet peeve of mine also. When you're ordering at the speaker and you're saying, hey, I want this, this, this. And you want something else, but you're waiting for them to say anything else. But instead, they go ahead and give you a price. And you're like, all right, go. I'm like, I need something else, you know? But if you go ahead and say everything, like I need this, this, and this, and then an order of this, they're like, hold on a second, what all do you need? <laughs> so it's like a lose-lose situation here, uh, but that's okay. 
So I got me some dinner and I'm going home and I'm gonna have some dinner with my son. And I think that will be all for tonight. I hope you had fun on this adventure. I know it was a little weird, a little interesting. Maybe it gives you an insight onto your dasher next time you order DoorDash. But I'll be glad to be home. I'm gonna change my clothes right away because I'm soaked. I mean, not soaked, but I'm damp enough to be uncomfortable. So thanks for coming with today. Please subscribe and like this video. So you can have more adventures with me. I don't know what I'm doing next. We'll find out. Bye.